Do you have a lot of friends? Well, even if you don't, would you like to have? Many people want to be liked or at least be perceived as friendly. This is not always the case when someone meets someone for the first time. According to Business Insider, generally speaking, you've only got a few seconds to make someone want to spend more time with you. In today's video, we will share 14 habits that make people dislike you. If you're new here, consider subscribing to our videos for more awesome videos such as this one. 1. Being too clingy Do you call people all the time and do you need your opinion on everything? If this is you, no need to worry. Just stop. When you become friends with people, asking their opinion on issues is cute. But when you ask all the time, it can start to feel annoying. The disadvantage of this is that they may not tell you but over time, you will start to mean work or stress to them. They always have a lot going on in their own lives. Do you want to add to their stress? I'm sure you don't. So start solving some of your problems yourself. Figure things out. You're smarter than you give yourself credit for. 2. Chronic borrowing or borrowing without paying back or returning borrowed items. No one, absolutely no one likes to be owed money by someone who doesn't pay when they say they will. But then, things people borrow is not just money. They borrow books, clothing, cars, and gadgets. If you are careless, please don't borrow items that are not money. People usually have sentimental value attached to their stuff. Getting a new one may not cut it. Don't borrow someone's car if you are traveling far. They may need it and you won't be available to return it. 3. Always following the crowd The desire to belong may be very strong especially for millennials who have all manners of trends. Still, you'll be better off being yourself. People who follow the crowd are seen as fleeting and unreliable. When you are your own person, people will perceive you as original and capable of doing what you want. They will therefore want your opinion on issues a lot. Don't start using the phrase you heard someone else say because you think it will make you look cool. It may accomplish the opposite. 4. Being inconsistent or erratic this is usually not a good thing for anyone whether or not you want people to like you. According to Pauls, one of the most gut-wrenching things that could ever happen to anyone is to have a partner who goes on and off, someone who is only consistent at being greatly inconsistent. People don't like this type of behavior. They can't trust you. They also can't really work with you because they don't know if you will suddenly wake up and go off. If you want to avoid this, stay consistent with your beliefs and principles. If you don't have any principles, don't pretend to have any. If you do, communicate them and stick to them. 5. Lack of self-contentment It is not easy to feel content when you haven't achieved all your goals, but you have to be patient. Patience makes you take them one at a time and not feel the pressure even when you still have a lot to do. When you are not content, it will show in your demeanor and relationship with people. They may dislike you for it. You will complain and show open jealousy over the things others have that you want for yourself. Try to be content. Everything good will come. 6. Justifying bad behavior No one likes bad behavior. Imagine being yelled at in public over something that isn't your fault. If you create a bad first impression by treating someone badly, they are always going to be cautious around you. They don't know if you will revert back to your original behavior. You can't blame them. Don't argue with people if you do something wrong. Apologize and commit to doing better. No one is perfect, but people expect a level of civility from people they interact with. No one, for instance, expects to be addressed rudely or punched in the face for disagreeing with you. 7. Trying to win all arguments when you realize that you are more eloquent than average people, it is not an opportunity to engage in endless argument with people. This type of behavior can make them mark you as confrontational and avoid you just in case you find something else to argue about. It is okay to make your point, but everything isn't an argument. Don't engage people who are in a hurry in a long conversation. They may listen, but they will not be happy about it. Read their body language. You can actually tell when someone isn't listening and when they are impatient to leave. 8. Frequent whining This is one of the worst characteristics you want people to associate you with. Don't complain about everything. People who do this are very, very negative. 
No one wants to be around negative people. They already have enough going on in their lives. They want to hang around positive people that will say positive things. Always encourage people when they share their ideas even if it is difficult to accomplish. Be a source of hope and joy rather than a source of sorrow to others. People also avoid people who complain. It is very easy to pick up the habit and people will rather not do that. Number 9. Fault finding in everyone and everything. While we all agree that no one is perfect, some people want things and people to be perfect. No one likes those type of people. Try to accept people the way they are. Constantly insisting on perfection will push people away from you because they feel judged. People who are like this also think they are better than others which is a recipe for disaster in relationships. You can't be friends with yourself alone. Treat others well so that you don't spend your life alone. 10. Having a braggart attitude Do you tell everyone about your prized possession in a bid to make them feel inadequate? Again, this is wrong too. People don't like people who boast about the things they have or have accomplished. When you interact with others, listen more than you speak. People want to be heard and understood. People who listen will naturally make more friends than people who go on and on about themselves. Don't tell people who your father is at your first meeting. Instead, interact with them and let them like you for you and not what you represent. Also, keep your achievements to yourself unless asked. 11. Excessive altruism Being hopeful is something admirable, but sometimes having too much hope can be a problem. It can make you not know when to let go. It is a truth everyone has to come to accept. Not everything will work out no matter how hard you try. People who have this as a habit often think they are always right and this can create challenges in your relationships with other people. Work towards being more pragmatic instead of disagreeing with someone on a point most people will perceive to be true. Choose to be silent. It is better to be perceived as mysterious than stupid. 12. Saying too much or saying too little People can also dislike you for either speaking too much or speaking too little. They may think you are a snob if you don't speak too much and think you are a handful if you are very outspoken. You really can't please people, can you? My advice, be you. Don't try to make people like you. If you want to talk, talk. If you don't want to talk, don't talk. Simply because someone else has said it will make you look bad if you don't. In the end, you only have yourself. Try to be kind to yourself. 13. Egotistical obsession with yourself Are you always speaking at things on your clothes that isn't there? Do you want your hair to be perfect? There's actually nothing wrong with this. But if you do it a whole lot, it can make people dislike you. People that are obsessed with themselves seldom have time for other people. They talk about themselves and their accomplishment. They generally don't pay attention to people who are not talking about them. Do you have any friends like this? Well, I don't. But hey, it isn't fun to dislike people, right? Instead, you can just choose not to be their friends. 14. Constant attempt to attract pity or sympathy to yourself Just like no one likes a person who complains all the time, no one also likes people who constantly try to attract pity and attention from others. Do you have any friends like this? People who have these characteristics will go any lengths to have something go wrong just so that they can be pitied. But then, pity doesn't really help and it makes the person dependent on the emotional availability of others to be strong. I don't think that is a great idea.